is the Hulk injector. <laughs> what? Yours is Hulk injector. <laughs> Bear sword. Bear sword. Bear slayer. <laughs> I just hit. I literally just hit record as oh, you said shit. that. Delete that. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep it in. It. No. <laughs> Welcome back to the Stroke Session Podcast. I am your host, Hollow Taku, and of course, I have with me K1 and Lagwagwa and Hollow Taku. So welcome back one of our founding members, Lagwagwa. If you remember, he actually helped us start with this. Yep, it's been a while with everything uh, being as crazy as it is. It's been 80 years. (laughs) Uh, But today's topic is we're jumping back into the anime bandwagon. And anything, uh, what anime is from, I'm going to go with 2010. And below should have a remake like today or sometime in the future. Hmm. That should like deserves a nice today's remake. Like today's remake. like a fresh Sailor coat Moon. a fresh coat of paint. Yes. I could do there there's quite a few that would be good. I just don't think a lot of them need the the they they did a poor poor job when it came to the berserk. Continuation. Oh, yeah. mm. That I I I mean storyline wise it was fantastic. Oh yeah. But Absolutely. that was cause the that was cause they had the content yeah. to to continue. But as far as uh, graphics wise, it, it was painful. If they could if they could return to the uh, the animation animation, from back yeah from and just re rescale it, I think that would be it would have been much better. Well, I can tell you what we don't need is another Death Note. No. <laughs> After so many live actions, I'm kind of done with the Death Note scene. But, like, leave Death Note alone. Uh, no yeah. more live action. Netflix. Yes. <laughs> Ever since that Netflix, it's The just only like good thing that came out of that Netflix live action was um, Willem Dafoe mm-hmm. as Ryu. Because that was the best. I agree. Like, best performance. It, essentially, Death Note for uh, Netflix was just a fancy way of saying, hey, guys, you want Final Destination 6? Here you go. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. So, leaning back on the many, 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 many animes I've seen, I guess I would want to go with, a re- if anything got a remaster, Fresh Coat of Paint, definitely Ronin Kenshin. I would love to see, like, certain fights like him and Shishio go at it in, like, 4K, and then, like, minus some filler, so let's give it the Kai effect of cutting some filler out and actually just going with main arcs. But, you know, think of what he versus Saito in that Moonlight Duel would look like in today's, like, animation. Because that is still one of my favorite fights. As soon as the sun sets and they go into that full-on duel to the death in the moonlight, and, you know, the way the, the color... Of shade goes with the blood, and then of each cut slash the the flashes that happen as they cross each other, mm-hmm. that would be epic with today's animation. Yeah, I agree that uh, that would be as long as they didn't try and CGI at all. Oh no, no, like you know, there's another anime called Kingdoms that started out with a very blocky CGI, and like in the first episode, but then they went to full animation in the like. For they're on, and mm-hmm. like it worked, but then the blocky. If you go back and watch episode one, it's like, oh no, no, I could not handle this. But then you actually see the animation, you're like, oh okay, we can work with this. But mm-hmm. that blocky animation, nah, nah, I cannot deal with anything with that. Um, I want like Cowboy Bebop, classic. I don't think I mm-hmm. wanted to have an HD remake. I... Now on. A different no, I'm actually very excited for the live action adaptation for it, just because I just want to see how it goes, and hopefully they learn better from Death Note. That's the thing, Cowboy Bebop. They, was they said they said allegedly that they're gonna go with the the anime, the storyline, and keep it true. Mm. 
you know how Hollywood is. Yeah, trust me. They could literally have the perfect storyline all the way down to the anime, but as soon as they're getting ready to release it, oh, uh, before we greenlight it, we're just going to change this, and then we're going to change that, and then we're going to change this. It, it, Cowboy Bebop, I, I personally wouldn't want to re, uh, a remaster just because the the one advantage it, as it is is because it's cell shaded mm-hmm. and it's hand drawn the art honestly the art style can't get more crisp yeah it's it's as crisp as it's going to get and if they try to remake it it's just going to i think it's just going to fall off if they remake it it, it will look bad it's we're, we're good with the nostalgia and like how good it was Plus the but animation. I do, I do love, you know, and, you know they, that they put out an HD remake, you know. Just, here's the Blu-ray. That's like, I think, 200 bucks or something. I tried to get Mike that and just, he was like, yeah, dude, that's like $200. I've been trying to find it cheaper. I was like, oh. So, I mean, so you want more. a kidney and a lung. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it's like you said, the nostalgia and plus, if you've been on YouTube with all those anime music videos, and of course, like the good songs that I get into, it just matches that animation perfectly. When you're listening to like lofty jazz, it's good. Definitely check it out. And then you just see Cowboy Bebop animation to it. It's like it works. You, you just can't change that. Find the link down below. <laughs> Not my channel, but you know, we'll support others. <laughs> it's just been good music to listen to during quarantine. Oh, absolutely. Especially when we got nothing to do and we were filming a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I haven't seen Big O in like forever. Mm. Big O is another one of those cell shaded yeah. cell shaded that see the problem with you've got the older, older anime that are cell shaded that if they were to try and remake them, it's not gonna look it. No, it and it will it definitely will take away from the nostalgia factor. And then mm-hmm. also like there's some people who forget about Big O. I still remember Big O mm-hmm. when I'm still staying up on Adult Swim. To <laughs> Nami OG. Like like shit, man. Between Big O and Yu Yu Hakusho and all those on yeah. on Adult Swim that come on at <laughs> super early in the morning. Or the super late at night. Final season of Yu Yu Hakusho. Every day in senior year. 5.30 every, every Saturday. <sighs> the lengths I went through. What's yeah. sleep? <laughs> <laughs> it's facts. Uh, uh, like, the one, if I could, like, it's still shaky to me. I would say Fist of the North Star. Because they actually did make a small see, little remake. I could see Fist of the North Star being redone. Because Fist of the North Star is... That's been... That's been out... That's that's been what, out since the 70s. 70s, yeah. 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 But like, so that I, could, that I could see... I could see redone... As like, long as like, it's like... Like I said, as long as it's... I'm, I mean, there's good, good ways to make CGI done... Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of companies that if they were to remake it with CGI, they would cut corners. Right. And that's where you lose the. That's where you lose the. Uh, the. <laughs> the uh, integrity of it. And plus, when you go with Kinshiro's like, Hokuto Shinkin moves, and when he literally hits a PowerPoint and the body rips apart. I would just love to see that mainly remastered. Not like how it was in the original 70s where you just see the shadow and the guy's head popping off, but actually see the organs, the body mm-hmm. actually split. So like, 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 like a Mortal line. Kombat. Yeah, like yeah, Mortal like Kombat Mortal Kombat. Finishers. Yeah, like, and I know that would be MA, MA, but that'd be perfect. Like, knowing what we could do with CGI today, that would be perfect to do, like, like bone-breaking touch of the North Star or 100 crack fist of the North Star. Just to be great. Mm-hmm. Now, what, like, you know, the animation, would you feel like it would have suited better if it had, like, a, like, one punch man, like, style, or, like, JoJo? Like, what, what kind of, like, if we remade I, this, if we remade this, what kind of, like, I'm thinking, style? Clo- I'm thinking closer to, uh, probably one punch man, as far as, as far as art style and death. <laughs> 
I can have to agree more to the JoJo side because when you get up close with Kenshiro's face, there's always that shadow. And if you've seen it in JoJo characters, when they look serious, they yeah. have that shadow. You have to give Kenshiro. I that. just want to see Omae watching dude. Yes, like when like, he says what do you that. Mean? It's just like. You have to have the shadow when he says that. Yeah. So you need the yeah. JoJo shadow when he says okay, that. Okay, I can see that. So I have to go more JoJo style than anything. I mean, they could always. It, if they could find a happy medium between the two, yeah, kind of just nuts. have maybe like a mix, you know, like you can have you can have like you know the One Punch Man, but anything serious goes to the JoJo Shadow. Yeah, right. Like that's the thing. Like if you're gonna do Fist of the North Star, you can't have any comedy. It's very lighthearted comedy, but like you can't have you have to have mo- mainly seriousness. Yeah. So you have to have like ninety no eighty percent JoJo with twenty percent pu- One Punch Man. Yeah, I can agree mm-hmm. there. It's not blood and gore, man. Facts. <laughs> I wonder how people would take it if uh, Elf and Lied oh, got, got the remake. No. <laughs> see, see, Elf and Lied, that, that had CGI in it. Yeah. But I, I don't... But, like, up to, to, up to date standards. Mm. Up to date standards. Like, uh, I, I think, I think, like, group, uh, I think, I think at any time like that... Like, Tokyo Ghoul. Cool. The gruesomeness like of the gruesomeness of Elf and Light. Uh, people they also know. they also you also have to think there is technically a lot of nudity. Yeah. And if they were to update it to now, they would have to censor a lot. <laughs> or be like high school. Well, that's D and that's <laughs> uncensored. But that's the thing. People can't handle handle stuff like you know. What happened recently with Sword Art Online, and then of course Goblin Slayer. So well, if you I mean, are going to literally take Elf and Lie and remaster it, you're gonna I mean, have like a lot. The FCC, of the FCC controls what we watch for TV, but like uh, for like Netflix and all that, censorship is like out of the question. You just put a rating on it. Well, yeah, but that's the point. Remember, like you know the converse, the the controversy with the rec- with the recent Sword Art Online. You know that scene? Yeah, see, I don't, I don't care for Sword Art Online. Yeah, yeah, I just, I'll tell you afterwards, but, you know, it was very controversial, and then knowing what Elfin Lie does, like, I guarantee the boards would literally flare up the first episode. Oh, if man, we a lot it. of people that's what I mean. so butthurt. That's what I mean. So that's the only reason I would not want it, because, one, it's retro, but, two, knowing you bring it to a new crowd, you know they would just, just set up a whole war after yeah. it with today's standards. Uh, most people are butthurt. That's that's fine. You have your own opinion. Yeah. We respect your opinion. I agree. Yeah. And substitute our own. Yeah. <laughs> but this is why we made Blu-ray versions, so then we can watch all the uncensored stuff and not get butthurt. I, I really thought you said the bootleg version. <laughs> uh, I, hey, LimeWire was a thing back in the day before yeah, all so the streaming that virus sites. that showed up afterward. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, guys, that is it for our podcast today. Thank you for listening. And as always, keep moving forward, and we'll see you in the next video. Wear a damn mask and keep kids out of school.